What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we continue the Gauntlet series for the OnePlus Buzz Pro 2. Their next opponent will be the Sony Link Buzz S. Now, this should be a very interesting head to head. So, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we're back in. And to keep things a little uh a little quicker, uh, I did leave links in the description to my unboxings for both of these guys. Uh, and just in case you guys want to uh, find out uh, the um, price and specs breakdown for each of these, you can go ahead and hit those links uh, and then go out and check out my video, my unboxing videos for that information and then come on back and join us uh, for the rest of this uh, Gauntlet series uh, episode. All right. So what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and pull one of each of these guys out and we're going to compare them. As you can see, they're two totally different uh, form factor styles. You've got the pencil style with the uh, OnePlus Buzz Pro 2. And of course, you've got the, the classic in-ear with the uh, Link Buzz S. As you can see, the Link Buzz S is, if I can get this correct in my hand here, is noticeably smaller. Uh, I, we, <laughs> I can't get these things to stay in my hand right. All right. So as you there we go. Okay. As you can see... Noticeably smaller earbud. Uh, they get real big praise on how small they are and how light they'll be in your ear. Uh, nice ergonomic uh, setup here with them. Fits nice and comfortably inside the ear well, as well as the ear canal. Of course, you got the pencil style uh, form factor with the OnePlus Buzz Pro 2, similar or almost identical to their predecessor, and taking some... Uh, taking some uh cues from the airpods uh airpods pro all right very nicely looked though i do like the the matte and gloss contrast on the oneplus buzz pro 2 but i do also like the matte you got the matte white with the gray contrast on the link buzz s okay all right so what we're gonna do go ahead and drop these in pull grab my phone here and we're gonna take a look at these guys in the ear all right. All right. We're going to start off with the uh, Link Buzz S. Let me go ahead and grab my pen. As you can see here, they fit nice and snug in the ear. Real low profile because of their small size and everything. Very comfortable. in the. To, and when you have them in for long-term usage, I've not had a problem with them at all. Um, and, of course, a proper ear tip makes all the difference to make sure you got a nice, secure fit. Um Helps out also with the uh, the noise canceling uh, for these earbuds, which is up up there second to none uh, when in you know as far as uh, noise canceling goes. Again, very uh, sleek, very discreet. Even though I do have the all white ones, well, the white and gray ones rather, uh, but still sits in your ear real nice and uh, snug and very light. All right, okay. And here's a look at the OnePlus Buzz Pro Two in the ear. Again, pencil style, uh, nice mod, nice uh, moderate size, decent size. Uh, I won't say moderate, but decent size uh, stem, uh, pencil or stem that comes down. Uh, this is your where you um, you squeeze the control, uh, the give the control functions uh, for the ear earbuds. Doesn't take up a lot of ear well, but once you get that twist and lock in, very slick, very secure, uh, uh, very secure fit. Very sleek, very light because of the way the weight is distributed throughout the earbud. Makes it great, real comfortable for long-term uh, use. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and get these paired up. We're going to take a walk through their apps and see what they have. So stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. We got the Link Buds uh, S paired up. We are in the Sony app. So let's go ahead and dive straight in. As you can see here, you've got... The name of the earbuds, your codec that you're using. Uh, you've got the uh, picture of the earbuds and case and the respective battery levels uh, underneath each one. Obviously, looks like I'm about to charge the, la the the case up a little bit. All right, moving on. Got down under status. It'll tell you if your adaptive sound controls are turned off and on. And if they're turned on, uh, where are they at? Uh, with, uh, which one uh, setting you're set to? Of course, you got your uh, device control, your device connection list. Uh, this is for your multi-point function uh, for the earbuds. It'll tell you exactly which two earbuds or which two devices you are connected to. 
and you get the little speaker over here, which means which one you'll be receiving sound from. All right, as you can see, it has my Surface Duo 2 RA up, uh, and that's where my audio is coming from, and you can see I'm also uh, connected to the uh, Tab S8 Ultra. All right, and of course, if you had audio playing, it will give you the name of the type, the title of the, the, the song. Listen at me, title of the song, artist, and the album num album name if that's available. Then of course you got your play, pause, skip, and reverse tracks options here, and of course you got your volume slider here. All right, moving on over to sound. Now this is where you will be able to uh, select you know your ambient sound controls. They are turned off, but if you go in, you can do ambient. You can do, uh, you can also turn it down with the slider or turn it up, depending on how much ambient sound you want to come through. Or you can do noise canceling, which then, of course, uh, turns off everything. Uh, we won't leave it on ambient sound for now. Okay, you can also go ahead and select focus on voice, which will focus on, uh, you know, people talking to person talking to you and will and suppress the uh, surrounding, no the ambient noise around you. You got speak to chat. So basically, uh, if you start talking, it will either pause or lower your audio. And then once you start, after, and once you're done talking after several seconds uh, or a set amount of seconds that you can do, it will go ahead and resume at the level at the volume level that you had. And of course, you got your equalizer setting here. You can go in. You can select. Right now, I have it turned off, but you do have two custom EQs you can choose from as well as. Uh, a whole slew of presets and you can also turn it off all together. I like to keep it at mine. And of course, if you hit the gear button here, you can go ahead and create your own uh, custom audio sound. And of course, with your bass, uh, the clear bass option, you can turn that up and down if you like. All right, now moving on, you've got your 360 reality audio setup. This is for if you have streaming audio services, you want to use these earbuds with that, you can go ahead and go into this option here to um, uh, connect it to them and you can work on them that way with with that it gives you that 360 audio that almost that surround that uh, uh what is it called spatial audio um gives you that feel uh, I just wish they would give it to you with all this stuff instead of just the streaming apps that would have been awesome maybe in a, a future update okay then of course you got your Bluetooth quality connection this is where you can Prioritize sound. If you want to use LDAC, uh, you want to prioritize sound quality. I have it prioritized on uh, a connection. I like to have a stable Bluetooth connection um, because my device does not support LDAC. So I couldn't use that there. All right. So moving on, you oh, let me go back. You got DSEE Extreme. This is for uh, like if you have, uh, I want to say this is for. Uh, a specific codecs uh, or FOC, uh, or uh, audio files that are low sounding and everything like that, you can go ahead and use that to give it more body, more oomph on it. And of course, now they have spatial, well, these ones have spatial audio uh, optimizer. Um, like I said, I thought they didn't have it for here. Now I do see that they do have it on this one. I haven't done the measure yet, so um, I will go through and set that up. That was my mistake there. Um, just with the recent update that gave it, you know, that gave these guys uh multi point, they threw that in as well for these earbuds. All right, that was my mistake there. I spoke, uh, misspoke earlier. All right, let's go ahead and move on to system. Now, up here, you got we, your button where you can turn it off multi point, you can, where you can connect the two devices at once, and then, of course, you got your voice assistant. I have a do not use that way, I can use uh both earbuds independently, but if you too, do choose to use your uh, voice assistant, you can only use the right earbud uh, by itself, all right? Then of course you've got, you can change your uh, touch control here functions. If you hit the gear here, you can say which the le what you want the left ear to earbud to do. Uh, I have the functions under uh, ambient sound controls and quick access, all right? Or quick attention rather. And so I have it set that's this way. Let me give you that little look. That's how mine's is on the left. And on the right, I have it for playback controls. And that's how I have mine. All right. Single tap and play pause, next song, previous song. All right. The some things you won't be able to have full control of everything. Uh, which is a bummer. 
but that's the way they have it set up. All right. So let me see. Okay. All right. So now moving on down, let me see, make sure I didn't get into, okay. Make sure I didn't lose anything. All right. Here you got your ambient control, ambient sound control operating. I have it set to basically if I'm tapping through the earbuds, how I'm cycling through, I'm cycling through noise canceling and ambient sound. I could add off to that, but I don't want to. It just goes to, it's going to be either one of them too. It would never be off all the way. All right. And then of course your quick access, this is for, uh, again, your, uh, streaming services. If you want quick access to, uh, those, uh, functions like, uh, Spotify, uh, and other ones, I can't think off the top of my head, but other streaming audio services, you can set these up that way you can, uh, double tap and get into Spotify, double, triple tap and get into, uh, Diesler or whatever other, uh, streaming audio service you're using. All right. Then of course you've got the optimal earbuds test determines, make sure you got a, the good seal on there. Automatic power off. I have that set to off or off when earbuds are taken off. You know what I mean? I have that set on that saves battery after a certain amount of time. Uh, they will power off. Uh, I have that set up play pause. When I take the earbuds out or take one out, it will pause the audio, put it back in or resume. Like we always, you know, everybody knows that one. Then of course you got uh, notification and voice guide. I have mine set to English and I have it turned on. You can choose other languages, automatic downloads. Of course, have that turned on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Then of course you got initialize, initialized setup will basically reset the devices, the earbuds and stuff like that. Restore them back to factory. All right. If you move down here to services, this is where you'll be able to really, uh, Manip manipulate and control all your streaming audio services with, you know, that way you can use it within the app. And of course, with the earbuds, uh, you can tie them all in together if you like. All right. Now, of course, down here at the bottom, you see, you got activities. So if you tap on that, it will just tell you your usage activities here on your log, give you options on listening safe or safe listening. And of course, badges, they are, you know, just give you awards or whatever or things like that, not whatever, but things like that. If you tend to use these earbuds, depend, you know, how often you use them, where you use them and things of that nature. All right. Then of course you got your, uh, information down here, which tell you information about updates. And of course you got tips again on safe, you safe listening, a 360 reality and positioning widgets on the screen and everything. So you can go ahead and easily, uh, get to them and do what you need to do. All right. And of course you got your three dots up here and here you got your two to your tutorials, your link buzz as version. You can back up and restore them if you had to replace them. And it's about this app. And of course you get the help option there. All right. And of course you got the power button here in the upper right here in the upper right also where you can turn power off the, uh, the app. If you can turn it off and everything or turn off the earbuds. All right, so that was a quick rundown of the headphones app for Sony. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get this swapped out. We're gonna put pair up the OnePlus Buzz Pro 2 and take a look at the Hey Melody app. Stay strapped in. All right, just to be clear, so I don't sound like I don't know what I'm talking about here. The spatial audio optimization function here at the bottom is uh, help is uh, triggered or geared towards the uh, 360 audio uh, spatial audio uh, functionality within uh, the app for you earbuds, uh, it basically, uh, optimizes the experience, uh, within the earbuds for use for the, uh, 360 audio. Uh, so when you're using it, uh, with a streaming, uh, service, um, for my mistake, I misspoke earlier thinking that it was just spatial audio for all applications, no matter what you're watching or listening to. But unfortunately, uh, for us who don't use these uh, streaming services, we don't get to use that option. So I just wanted to go ahead and get that cleared up and clarified uh, before someone in the comments say, I don't know what I'm talking about or something like that. So just wanted to let you guys know. All right, we back in. We got the OnePlus Buzz uh, Pro 2 paired up and, and we're gonna go ahead and dive into the Hey Melody app. So let's go ahead and get there. All right, as you can see here, it busts it open. You got a picture of the earbuds in the case and you, but you only got, uh, the battery level for the left and right earbud. Quick side note, if you want to go in and check out the actual case power or charge or battery level, 
You can go into, let me back up one step here. When you have it paired up, just go ahead and tap on it here inside the uh, Google app. My bad, hit the gear there inside your Bluetooth settings, and it will give you uh, the breakdown, the battery level of the uh, case, as well as the left and right earbuds. Just a quick note there. All right, so let's go back into the app. Like I said, you got the earbuds in the case. You got left and right earbuds with their battery levels. You've got your noise controls here. You have uh, noise canceling, uh, off, and transparency. But, of course, it will stay off until you put the earbuds in your ear. The wear, the sen the wear sensor in there will let the device, know, will let the app know that the earbuds are in your ear. And then you can go ahead and change uh, your noise cancel. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that real fast just so we can see. All right, see, as you can see, I just put one in and it already has noise canceling, but then you can go ahead and change it to, you want smart or adaptive. Then you got max, gives you the maximum, obviously. Then you got moderate noise canceling, then you got mild, all right? So I just wanted to show you, and of course you got transparency mode over here, but there is no uh, setting to them. It's just either on or off, okay? So just wanted to give you guys a quick look at that. As you see, I took it out, and of course, it won't turn back off. Then we've got you got your personalized noise set, noise canceling on here. I have that already set. I have that turned on. I have to put them back in now, but it only works when you have both of them in your ear. You can turn that on, and you can go through, and it'll give you uh, your own personalized noise canceling levels. All right. Then of course, you got your sound, your sound master EQ. Rather, you can go in. You can check the. Select any of the presets here. Also, you know, sound created by Dyn you know, Dyn Audio. Uh, you got balanced. You got bold serenade and bass boost. Uh, and of course, you got the Hans Zimmer soundscape tuning. Uh, they all sound good. And of course, you got your bass wave. I always turn that up. Have that turned on, but I don't have have it halfway. I don't want it overpowering or anything like that. And of course, you can come down here and you can cut. You select your custom. EQ. Let me go ahead and add one. See, so you can go ahead and make your adjustments on your own custom EQ settings there if you want and everything like that. Okay. So let me see. Let me get back to this. What's this one? That's mine. Okay, cool. All right. This one got to go. I don't know. I'll figure out. All right. We'll deal with that later. All right. So then, of course, you can go in here and make changes there. You got your three dots here. You can edit. That way you can get rid of number two. Yep, we want to get rid of number two. Get rid of that. All right, so only one we got is number one, which is mine. Bang. All right, so there we go. Okay, so then moving on, you got your golden sound. This gives you a uh, great sound quality. You can go through and do like a hearing test to get the hearing characteristics. I have mine. I'm sorry about the camera looking the sideways. All right, I have mine set up. This is the setup that I created. I have that turned on. That also gives you high quality sound. Uh, we'll, you know, when we do the sound test, we'll turn that off so it's equal footing. You got Zen Air, Zen Mode Air, which gives you like that uh, white noise when you're trying to relax or something like that. It'll just play white, soft white noise, and you know, gives you that little calming mode. Uh, you know, just where you can calm and decompress mode. All right, you got gaming mode. All right, you can only turn that. Let me go back down here. Sorry. You only turn that on. I always turn that on. I don't know why it's off now, but it, I usually turn that on to when I'm watching videos or playing a game where I have this connected to like my uh, Steam Deck or something, and I'm rocking out that way. And of course, you know you got your dual connection option. All right, have it turned on. It shows you the two devices that is currently connected to. If you had other ones on this list, they would also be uh, listed down here. All right. Then of course you got your earbud fit test. And of course, and then of course you got an update. Looks like I have an update here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that off camera real quick. And then we'll come back in. Let's continue. We got your controls where you can do single squeeze, double squeeze, triple squeeze, then squeeze and hold. So you got function. You can use all three on both the left and right earbud. I like that. Then of course you got your tutorial there. And then once you get in here, you got about, then it gives you goes into different, you got your user agreement, your uh, data processing agreement. You got licensing app version and supported devices. 
uh, for the Hey Melody app. You can go in there. Oops, I don't know why it took me out of there. All right. So that, of course, you got you up here in the upper. Let me before I finish, let's go up here in these three dots. You can either disconnect uh, from the app or you can delete that device uh, from the app altogether here. All right. And of course, in the upper left here, you tap on that. It'll just give you a list of your one your uh, devices that you have using the Hey Melody app. As you can see, I have the OnePlus Buzz Pro as well as the twos. So either one of these will work on here. All right. So what do we do? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, run through this update. We're going to have the noise. We have a noise canceling test for each of these guys, followed by a mic test and then the sound test. So stay strapped in. All right, now we have the Sony Link Buds S in the air. All right, now we already know that the the XM4s have some of the best noise canceling. Uh, in the business outside of the Bose Quiet Comfort line and possibly uh, the Apple AirPods uh, line there. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take a look at these ones. As you can see, we got the app up and they are in ambient sound. We're going to go ahead and put these guys in noise canceling right now. See how they do. All right, noise canceling is turned on and it's Again, just like everything, just I hear no noise at all. I don't even hear uh, wind. I have no ambient sound going on or anything. These guys are right in the same line as the XM4. I got a car coming here. I could barely hear that. I could literally barely hear that. That that's freaky. All right. So. These guys are just as good as the XM4s. Not to anyone's surprise, I bet. But they sound really good. All right. So these ones will definitely get up there in the uh, the gray area. I'll definitely put these up there. They just, the AME sound, the, excuse me, the ANC is fantastic. All right. And this has been the ANC test for the Sony Link Buds S. Top tier top tier but all right we got the oneplus buds pro 2 in the ear let me pull that up so you can see all right i'll put it down a little bit quick all right we're out here doing the anc test for these guys let me go ahead and pull out my phone i can show you the app as you can see right now we are in transparency mode okay let me get a little closer in there all right what we gonna do now, we got some traffic and everything moving back and forth, good and band sound test, uh, test bed rather. So what we gonna do, we gonna go ahead and put on noise canceling. All right, noise canceling is now on and a lot of the ambient noise has disappeared. I did get a little bit from the, pa the passing vehicle but not a lot as I, I thought I would get. So they have, okay, they have a good ANC uh, software on the laptop. Again, no audio is being played. This is pure and strength of ANC software on the earbuds. And I have to admit, these guys are doing a really good job. Now, are they Bose level? No. Are they Sony level? No. But they're up there. Um, I would definitely have to keep looking around uh, when having these on because this these combined with audio yeah you you won't hear anything happening uh, around you unless you're so you got to keep looking around for them all right so this has been the ANC test for the OnePlus Buzz Pro 2 pretty good pretty good noise canceling Nice job, uh, definitely in the uh, top tier, in my opinion, just not at the tippy top. This is a mic test with the Sony Leak Buds S in a semi-quiet location. This is a mic test with the Sony Leak Buds S in a semi-quiet location. This is a mic test with the Sony Leak Buds S in a crowded location. 
This is a mic test with the Sony Leap Charge F in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 in a crowded location. All right, we're back in. We got the uh, Link Buds S. <laughs> All right, I'm fumbling words. It's getting late. Uh, we got the Link Buds S. RA paired up in the ears. We're in the app. We, as you can see, we have it set. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, we we'll have it set to off. As you can see, the EQ. I was thinking about doing something else, but I stopped in mid thought there. Sorry about it. All right, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna pull this out, our second screen here, and we're gonna go ahead and jump into some music. All right, we're gonna make sure we add our appropriate volume levels already. We're there. That out of here we ain't worried about that right now all right search me up all right we're gonna go ahead we're gonna drop old money let's get it all right right now we're in we're turned off no eq help and i have to admit it sounds good nice clean clear uh vocals and i think i'm still in Ambient mode. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn on noise canceling. All right, now we're in noise canceling. It still sounds good. All right, we got more songs, more instruments being in. Let's go ahead and switch to my settings. All right, nice warm sound. Got a little bit more bass into it. The vocals are still clear. Nice sound stage. Man, these are very impressive. A lot of people say you should get these over the XM4s. All right. A lot of people said that about the Link Buzz S, uh, mainly because of the price and the way they sound. But I, I, I'd still get them. I recommend them. But uh, I don't know if I get them instead of the XM4s. But anyway, I digress. Great sound so far coming out of these. We're gonna go back into off on this on an EQ. Got nice sound stage. It was crystal clear there. I really it was a really good sound. Let's go ahead and uh, jump in. We're gonna go and do uh, Godzilla. Yeah, let's do that. That's a basic. Actually, you know what? No, no. Let's do Runs House. I want that 808. All right, here we go. Right now we're on off as far as our EQ settings. Here we go. All right, let's hit that bass drop. Woo, okay. That bass drop hits even on off on this one. Let's see if it does the, if it shifts. Here we go. Oh, and it gives you that left or right. Oh, love it. All right, let's go ahead and jump into my settings. All right, nice. Now in this song, I wish the vocals were a little bit louder. Nice sound though, nice bass. Not all right. Yeah, I just wish that the vocals were a little louder on this one. I don't know, uh, but the bass hit and it moved left to right. It sound really good. I just wish it was a little bit brighter. All right. Um. All right, let's go ahead and jump into going home. Let's go ahead. But first, let's switch back. We're off. All right. Let's go into going home. Here we go. Nice sub bass with the uh with the drum and the keyboard. Let's see how sharp this uh lead saxophone is. Nice. Very nice. Let's Let's go ahead and switch to my my settings. It's a little cleaner. sound nice it sounds more balanced clean sound the uh lee saxophone has that nice crisp sound to it let's see this high this top 
All right. That high note. Uh, it, it could be. All right. Now, it would sound clean and everything. When I put my settings in, it got a little, it, it sound even cleaner of a sound, rather, uh, than on when it had it with no uh, EQ help. It's, it, it, but it wasn't as sharp. The lead saxophone wasn't as sharp as I would like it. But it was a good sound. It was a good sound overall. Nice uh, sound stage. Background um, instruments came through. Uh, detail was definitely there on all three songs. I just wish on the uh, Run DMC song that the vocals were a little bit louder. Uh, like on the uh, original, the first song, Old Money, the vocals was nice and loud. But in the Run DMC song, they weren't as loud. They didn't reach. They didn't reach that that point. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get these swapped out. We're gonna put the One Plus uh, Buzz Pro in, and then we're gonna have them run the sound test. Stay strapped in. All right. We're back in. We got the One Plus Buzz Pro Two in the air, paired up. As you see, we're in the app. We're in transparency mode, so it doesn't sound like I'm yelling. All right. Let's go ahead and switch these over to noise canceling. All right. We're going to turn on, we'll leave personalized noise canceling off. Uh, we'll leave that off here, and let's see what else we're going to turn off. We're also going to turn off game mode because uh, the Slink Buzz S does not have that function, those functions. So we want to keep it as even as possible. We'll keep it right there. Oh, and side note, the update that I mentioned earlier for the Buzz Pro 2 was just, uh, so they said some... Uh, known issues that needed to be addressed, uh, needed to be fixed rather. So that's what it was. They didn't get into any specifics or anything like that. So that's basically what that was. Uh, if I find a change log, I'll leave it in the description below. Um, that way you guys, as well as myself, will be up to date on what actually they fixed. All right, let's go ahead, moving on. Let's go ahead and jump into the EQ. All right, we're gonna set it to balance the default one, all right? Let's go ahead into old money. Let's turn it up to my, my volume level. All right, already got nice sound. A little clear. Vocals seem a little bit higher, a little bit richer. Let's go ahead and switch over to my custom. All right, everything got brighter. I like it. I like it. Let's see about the. All right, now we getting a nice sound stage from the background instruments. Still not losing anything on the vocals. I like that. All right, again, nice thing of sound. Let's go ahead and. All right, you got good sound, good vocals. They were clear. They were good and they were clear and nice and clear. I keep saying clear. <laughs> it's getting late. All right. They were good with on the default setting for the EQ. And then uh, once I turned on use my settings, they got brighter. Uh, the soundstage got wider. It sounded even clearer. It was, uh, and then of course, it, the vocals got a lot more crisper. I liked it. I liked it. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to switch back to uh, default. All right, and then we're gonna go into Run's house. Now remember, I said don't on using the the Link Buzz S that the vocals didn't seem as loud. All right, um, the bass was great and everything, but the vocals didn't seem as loud as I would like them. Let's see how they do here. All right, here we are. We're in balance mode, as you can see. All right, here we go. See how this bass hits. Ooh, okay. That bass is. Now, let's see if it does that shift. This is attention to detail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and add my symbol. Now, again, the vocals don't seem as loud. They seem louder on these ones, but they, but they could be loud, even more louder in my opinion. Let's go ahead and try my settings. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. This is what I need. Nice, loud sound. 
great bass. This they just sound really good. All right, see, they were good with the default uh, EQ setting. Everything zeroed out. They just didn't have enough inf with the vocals. But then when I put it on my settings, the vocals uh, came out. They became a lot more brighter. Still had that great bass. Uh, it just seemed a lot more balanced than it was with the normal uh, EQ setting. All right, let's go ahead and we'll go back to default. Let's go ahead and jump into our final song, Going Home. Here we go. All right. Again, still got that nice, subtle uh, mid, uh, sub bass, that little sub bass rumble. Let's hear this uh, lead saxophone. Oh, yeah, lead saxophone sounding real crisp already. Now, this is in default setting. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, go ahead and click on custom. Oh man, it just got brighter. Eric, oh, it's just so good. Sound state is sounding good. The bass is improved. Hmm. Oh my goodness, this sounds so good, so clean. Oh my goodness. This the sound stage is fantastic. Oh, I could listen to that. I can just listen to that all night. That is such a great sound coming out of these earbuds. And then they, they were good with the their default setting. And then when I added my personal touch to them, their EQ, it just got brighter and just sounds just got much better just a great great sounding ear but um they really did some nice fine tuning uh with this second iteration of the one plus buds pro in my opinion uh this was a really 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 good sound all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up and then i'm gonna come back with my final thoughts between these two and this gauntless uh dauntless series edition stay strapped in all right we're back in with my final thoughts on this edition of the Gauntlet series for the the OnePlus Buds Pro 2, their opponent in this one, the Sony Link Buds S, and I have to say both of them sound great. It's just the the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 just sound just just sound better. All right, uh, yes, the Link Buds S has great bass, um, but I just I, I don't know. I sound like the 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 vocals. The mids and the treble is just low. Um, I don't know if I have. I'm gonna have to do some major tweaking to my uh sound, to my EQ settings. But even on uh just their just a flat no usage, just your default setting on the EQ, it still sound really really. It didn't sound really low. They just sound low. Um, again, but the bass you cannot mistake the bass on these guys. They definitely thump. It def they definitely hit hard and. Uh, it, you know, definitely Sony quality bass on these, but it's just that the the treble, the the vocals and the the mid, they don't they don't rise up to meet the bass uh, when you want them to, in my opinion, and and that's why these guys. I mean, they're still good earbuds. You do do some good listening out of them, but if I'm putting them head to head against certain ones, you tend to find out uh, the flaws uh, in each earbud. They they all have them. The, there's no perfect earbud out there, but this and they just the vocals and and the mids and stuff this weren't loud enough for me in my opinion uh, to match the bass that it gives out. Uh, for, but the the OnePlus Buzz Pro Two they really really fine tuned these guys. They really did a great job at it. Uh, the bass is fantastic, even um, set to default on the EQ. Uh, it sound great. And then when I added my personal settings to them, they just got brighter. The bass hit harder, but you didn't lose the vocals. That's the one thing I like. The vocals didn't go away. They didn't uh, fall back to the detriment, uh, you know, to the to the benefit of the bass. They stayed rate right level with them. They rose up. Everything was balanced. It's great sound stage. Uh, it was just a really good sound out of these. I'm very impressed with them. Um, 
they just they're they just sound good. So in this one, this head to head, I'm gonna go with the uh, Link uh, excuse me, the uh, OnePlus Bud Pro Two. They definitely checked all the boxes in this contest, uh, but. Again, still a great set of earbuds on the Link Buds for the Link Buds S. Uh, definitely recommend them um, if you're looking for a nice budget uh, budget Sony earbuds uh, with multi point. Uh, and you got them right here. This is really good. All right. So again, this has been uh, I guess episode two of the Gauntlet series for the OnePlus Buds uh, Pro Two. I'm ready to say two Pro Pro Two. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, if you want to join me on this journey as I continue to do gauntlet series contests, head to heads, unboxings, uh, noise canceling challenges and everything like that, just go ahead and hit the like button and then hit the subscribe, hit the, uh, excuse me, hit the subscribe button. Also give me the thumbs up on the likes and then hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when videos like these and others drop and I just like to say thank you guys for coming out and checking me out. And I will see you on the next one. It is getting late. I got to get to bed. I got to work in the morning. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys on the next one. OnePlus Buzz Pro 2 gets win number two in the Gauntlet series. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.